Hello, in this tutorial we're gonna talk about notifications. So as you know, we can retrieve the latest notification with the variable inside tasker and title. Also we can use auto notification intercept for new incoming notifications. But what about the current notification on your phone? So let's open the notification bar and as you see, you see here for notifications. For example, gentle alarm, tasker, USB debug etc etc so those are my current notifications but how can I retrieve all those information inside my tasker that's what I gonna teach you right now for this we're gonna also use auto notifications that plugin so first of all you have to remember auto notifications works with Android 4.3 and up and inside your notifications you will see here three elements the first element is a title for example gentle alarm the second part is the text work and the third part is the icon so you have to remember all those things before you can start okay so let's open tasker right now and here I'm inside task we're gonna use for this one auto notification query what will it do auto notification query gives us the results of all the current notifications inside an array so as you saw before we had a title we had a text and we had also an icon so action number one will retrieve all those things also I hope you understand arrays when you don't you have to watch also other tutorials of me I've explained arrays before but I will try to do my best to do that again so as you see we're gonna use en title and then two brackets so this will give us all the titles from our notification bar so let's activate that action okay and let's play that and you will see here EN title gentle alarm coupled with media etc etc so it will show me all the notification titles from my notification bar when you use bracket it will give us the results separated by a comma let me disable action number two and enable action number three okay now we're gonna use the pop-up EN text all the text inside our notification bar so we should see work Wednesday 7 o'clock 15 we should see uploaded thus Wi-Fi etc etc let's try this and let's play the play button okay we see here work Wednesday 7 15 etc etc so it works it will give us all the results separated by a comma now I hope you understand how you can display the information inside an array so let me enable action 2 again and let's play it and we're gonna look for example for gentle alarm okay and we see one two the second element inside the array is gentle alarm so let me disable action number two and enable action number four so we're gonna pop up only the second title let's play that again and it should tell me gentle alarm and you see here gentle alarm so I hope you understand how to retrieve some information inside an array okay so we're gonna do a little bit more and we're gonna enable action 5 and 6 and I will tell you what's happening here so for example we're gonna set a variable index to en title and then we use hashtag question mark gentle alarm what will it do it will search inside en title for gentle gentle alarm as title and we're gonna put that value that value will be a number inside index and then we're gonna flash the en text of gentle alarm so we're gonna use that variable index here so as we know and we tested before gentle alarm is the second variable so in this case index would be number two and we're gonna flash en text number two and en text would be work Wednesday 7 15 so let's try this 
OK and it will give us the right result. I can easily change that action and for example I'm looking for my tasker profiles. So I delete that and I'm gonna type tasker and I'm going back and when I open my notification bar right now I should see here Opladen does Wi-Fi. That should be visible right now. So let's try it and let's play the play button. And you see it's the right information so I'm gonna repeat it again so we're gonna filter e and title with tasker and that will give us a number and we're gonna put that number inside variable index and then we're gonna use that number for looking inside the array of e and text and that will give us the result I hope you understand that if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you have any questions or comments you can leave that on my google plus community or my youtube channel and see you next time bye